Hey everybody, here looking at two power supplies. Both of these are kind of cheaper in units, but there's something special about them too. I see a while back I decided to really, when I had some extra time on my hands, I decided to take power supply modifying to a whole new level. Most of the time when I do power supply modifications, it's either replacing the capacitors or improving the EMI filtering stage, replacing the Ford diode treatment with bridge rectifiers, you know, things like that. But I have taken a step, you know, I've taken an extra step in these two units here. Let's have a look inside of them. Now, this unit here is actually out of TV box that used to go on my, in the TV computer. This one here was out of a part system. Anyways, let's go and get a screwdriver and let's dig into these things. All we're doing is going to take the cover off of each of them and let you see inside. Okay, there's power supply number one. I haven't really touched this over here. I mean, it's still, still got the same output, um, output coil, inductor, whatever you want to call it. Same caps, I do believe. Not the best. I did, however, improve the filtering stage. Now, obviously, a cheaper thing like this originally did not come with this kind of EMI filtering stage. <laughs> this thing, the only thing it even had over here was the four diode treatment. It didn't have, it didn't have these two, these two coils. Didn't have the X capacitor there. Didn't have these two Y capacitors. No. And obviously, it, as I probably mentioned, it had the four diode treatment and not this bridge rectifier. Replace the four diode treatment with this bridge rectifier. Install these EMI filtering components. No, I took things actually. I, I took things a step further. Let's continue on. Have a, have a look at that transformer, that main transformer. Normally, cheap end power supplies like this don't come with main transformers of that large of size. I mean, you can look at the other two and you can clearly tell. The other two, one of them is a 5 volt standby transformer, and the other is an isolation transformer. Also, I have upgraded the stock switchers on this thing. It came with 13007s. I put 13009s in there. Those came out of a 300 watt power supply. This way, this thing could probably put out maybe 250 watts, half decent. <laughs> I mean, if I was ever use this thing, it's probably would be. That's probably the kind of load to be dealing with is that kind of computer. Here's your overall look at this thing, and yes, it does work. <laughs> it works fine. So, anyways, there's that one. And let's look in this one. Now, the transformer out of this one didn't go didn't go to the scrap. No, it didn't. I didn't scrap it. Which, by the way, there's the little bit transformer that came out of this one. Claims it's a, it's a 35 unit, but it's actually probably a 28 or a 33. So, I'm going to take screws off this one. Let's carefully lift this off and get it out of the way. The transformer that came out of this one went into this one. This one also got a bridge rectifier. I also completed the EMI filtering stage on this one. I mean, it could do, it could still probably use another X capacitor, but anyways. See, there's a Y capacitor in the back. I don't think that was there prior to now. I also bypassed the switch. These things are going to be used in 220 volt areas. And there's just something else in the way, so I just bypassed it completely. By doing that, you just simply run a wire from the connector to the other end, where, where the switch will normally get wired in. You just wire it, just wire it end to end. Again, there's a bridge rectifier. 
and there's the transformer that came out of this one. I also upgraded the switches, the main switchers in this one. This one too came with 13007s. And I didn't really like that because those are not really good for even 300 watt loads. Now the heat sinks in this one aren't that great either. I swapped these out for 13009s. Actually in this one, these aren't 13009s. I forget exactly what they are. Let's see. Um, TT2146 is the is the models on those which again those did come out of a 300 watt deer unit <laughs> so yeah, this flashlight acting on me but those switchers in this one definitely are 13009s and again both of these work fine I've tested them both and they they both work um, not sure if I'm gonna put these back into use again or not I'm really you know it's just kinda hard to say I mean, this one here has went for four years <laughs> with the stock switchers. And it got to the point where it was getting a bit weak. It was having a hard time powering the computer that it was in. So, I mean, with these upgrades, I think it would probably run a little bit better. I may put it back in the servers. I may not. It just depends. This thing is definitely... It's definitely seen a tough life. It has served its four years in a hot environment. And, I mean, anyways, let me you guys look inside this thing. I modified this thing practically when it was brand new. I mean, when you spend like $25 on a cheaper in power supply, and you have some electronics knowledge, why not modify it? That's probably why this thing lasted four years, and that Chief Max that's in the TV box now, the one I modified by replacing the... There's four diodes with a rectifier bridge and improving the EMI filtering stage and recapping the secondary. I mean, that thing's been working just fine for... Dang, I can't, I can't, remember, I can't think how many months it's been in there. It's been in there for probably at least half a year. Constant on use, no problems. Anyways. One more good look inside this one. So yes, yours truly has officially replaced transformers and main switchers in... <laughs> switch mode power supplies. Yes I have. I've done it two times. I've done this back in the fall and I'm just now making a video of it. <laughs> but anyways I just want to show this to you guys. And you guys probably think oh, why are you wasting your time on a cheap in power supply like this? It's because I enjoy working with electronics and it's I, I find it fun to mess with. So anyways any questions or comments? Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.